Bernie Sanders recently spoke out against President Obama's decision to accept $400,000 from Wall Street for a speech. Now, during an interview with CBS, they asked whether or not Bernie Sanders himself would turn down a speech, um, and they didn't believe him, and they then proceeded to laugh in his face. President Obama is going to speak at an event uh, here in New York, a Wall Street investment bank, for $400,000 fee. You were critical of Hillary Clinton for taking money like that. What do you say about President Obama making an even larger fee? Look, uh, President Obama is a friend of mine. I think he, uh, as president, uh, represented our country with integrity and intelligence. Uh, but I think at a time when people are so frustrated with the power of Wall Street and the big money interests, I think it is unfortunate uh, that President Obama is, is doing this. Uh, you know, right now you have um, President Trump's key economic advisor, as you know, is Gary Cohn, uh, former president of Goldman Sachs, a firm that paid $5 billion in federal fines because of illegal behavior. Wall Street has incredible power, and I would have hoped that the president uh, would not have uh, given a speech like this. Are you saying if you were offered $400,000 to give a speech, you would turn it down? <laughs> if I was, if Wall Street offered me that, yeah, I, I don't want Wall Street's money. No. Even though it's no, transparent. But, but, I don't, but I must tell you, I really don't have to worry about that too much. I, <laughs> I haven't gotten too many invitations from oh, Wall Street. Oh, I bet there's oh, some people out there yes. who would be really Never say never, Senator. Yes. I can't help but think that they're only laughing at Bernie Sanders because they're projecting. They're thinking, how could you turn down a $400,000 speaking gig? I mean, I certainly would take it. So what you're telling us is that you're susceptible to corruption. And as someone who is a journalist, you're telling us that if someone paid you $400,000 to do something, to cover a story a certain way, that you wouldn't turn it down? You wouldn't put your integrity first? I mean, if, if so, that's that's incredibly problematic. So, I mean, again, this is completely speculative, and I don't want to make any accusations, but it just seems as though they're projecting because they're saying they would be as or certainly implying that they would be as susceptible to corruption like this uh, as President Obama is. And look, we all know what this is about. It's not just whether or not, oh, should he take money now that he's not president? What is he going to do to make a living? President Obama will be fine, I promise you. And, you know, they were not convinced that Bernie Sanders wouldn't take the money. And I think Bernie Sanders did a good job just kind of brushing it off and, you know, making light of the situation. But Bernie Sanders already faced this test. When he decided to run for president, he chose to turn down a super PAC and he could have taken a lot of money. But he didn't. He turned down that money because he wanted to make a move that would keep his integrity intact because he knows that if he takes money from large multinational corporations, then even if his intentions were altruistic, how would we be able to trust him to represent our values and not give favors to the people that helped him get elected? So Bernie Sanders was already tested on this and he passed the test. He chose not to have a super back and take corporate money. So I find this troubling because as someone in the media, you're supposed to hold elected officials accountable, not make fun of them or laugh at them because they're not as corrupt as their peers. That's unacceptable. So it's really disappointing to see them defend Obama's decision to take this money and laugh at Bernie Sanders when he said that, you know, there's something wrong with this, which there is. So, you know, very frustrating here. I wish that we had a media that did its job, that actually held our elected officials accountable. Because if we had a medium that did that, man, could you imagine if they called out each politician's corruption, if they vote against a bill that they took money from? I mean, for example, the Republicans, if they talked about how health insurance companies were funding the campaigns of Republicans and then they voted for a bill that would allow insurance companies to raise the cost of health care? Could you imagine if they talked about it? The outrage that you see now would be exponentially greater. So I just wish the media would do its job, but we don't have a media that is competent. Uh, they don't have legitimacy. They don't have our trust. Hence why their approval ratings are low. And also, hence why independent media outlets are on the rise. So um, <laughs> this made me so... It didn't make me angry so much as it disappointed me to see this because, man, this is the state of our media in 2017. If you say you're not corrupt, if you lambast corruption, you are laughed at. Shameful. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.